Hey guys, it's Christian here from Christian's Crazy Life, and today I'm going to be showing you ways you can take pictures of yourself by yourself. I'm also going to be showing you how I edit my Instagram photos and what that process is like. The first method that I use is my personal favorite, and that's just to take a video on your phone and then start doing poses and things like that. Then once you're done, you screenshot the video and you can edit those photos from there. For example, yesterday I went down to the laundry room and right next to it was this alley that I thought would be good for taking pictures in. So I just put my phone on one of the electrical outlets that was on the wall and then started taking pictures. So when I put it on the ground, I just decided to do different poses and kind of just move around. I think my video ended up being like a minute or two minutes long. You can be as silly as you want, as serious as you want. It doesn't really matter because you're not releasing the video, you're just keeping it for yourself and taking the poses that you like through screenshots. And I'm going to set my tripod over on the counter and then I'm going to take some pictures using the video method. Secondly, you can use a remote device to take your pictures for you without having to use the timer function on your phone. So this is pretty cool because you can keep it in your hand and nobody can see that you're using it. Um, it connects via Bluetooth. This one here has a function for iOS and also for Android. And once you're all the way back there, you're just gonna click the button and it'll act as a remote shutter and you'll take a picture. Now, option number three is really cool. And this is if you have Apple headphones like these, you can take a picture by pressing the volume button uh, when it's connected to your device. And once you have it all set up, you press the button and it takes a picture. The only limitation with this is that you can't go very far and also it does have a wire so you're gonna have to hide that which is a little bit trickier than using the remote shutter. Last but not least you can use a tripod and this one wasn't very expensive and it's pretty small so you can put it in most spaces. Um, you can use this as a stabilizer and as a way to take your picture on a flat surface. And taking pictures by yourself is pretty cool because sometimes you have friends that take pictures and they turn out blurry or they turn out a little bit too close or just the angles are weird and it just isn't how you would personally shoot a picture. This is a great way to make sure you're in control of all the steps of the process. So now we are going to start editing the photos. So what I did was airdropped it to my, from my iPhone to my iPad. So when I go to photos, this is the video here. Now all you have to do is click play, hit the pause button in the corner, and start scrolling through until you see a pose that you like. Now I like this pose right here where I'm kind of looking away in the distance. So you click on your screen, screenshot, and you can edit the photo here just to get the area that you would like and get rid of the black bars. Click done, save to photos, in the home button. And now we are going to go into Visco Cam, uh, VSCO on the App Store and on Android as well. Click the plus button in the corner, click the photo that you would like to edit, and click import. Hold down, slide up to the two dots, and you can edit your picture. There are a lot of free filters that you can choose from, and Visco is really cool like that. They do also have a store online where you can download more free filters, but right now I'm going to use C1, and if you click on it, you can lower the intensity just by a little bit. Click the check mark. So there are a couple tools as well if you're interested in really going the distance and kind of super editing this photo. You may add just a tiny bit of fade to this as well to brighten it up. And maybe a tiny bit of grain as well. So once you're happy with how this looks, there's really no limit to what you can do. You can edit it how you like and kind of change the colors, change the contrast and all of that. But I do like how this turns out, so I'm going to hit the save button. And I've edited my first photo, great. <laughs> so to save your photo to your camera roll, you're just gonna click on the photo, hit the three dots and save to camera roll. And you can save it in whichever size you like, but I'm going to go with large. All right, and when you go back to your photos, your new edited picture is all ready to go and ready to post. And if you do take any pictures this way, let me know on Instagram at cpd underscore crazy life. 
If you did like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm close to 500 subscribers, so that's exciting. Until next time, that's just my crazy life. Bye guys!